Hi guys, people, rather. Update 13, part B. Um, originally going to show um, what is actually happening with the back EMF discharge. Um, I'm going to show that in a minute. But I'm also going to prove without a shadow of a doubt that I am using the back EMF output. So how am I going to do it? Simple really. I'm going to show the voltage in the back EMF cap bank and then I'm going to switch on the circuit for uh, using the back EMF in the cap bank um, and you'll see the amp meter drop to nothing for at least a couple of seconds. Okay, so let's take a look. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've had a couple of emails uh, challenging my results. So, here we go. As you can see, one switch there, standard switch, nothing odd about that, there's my pot, two pots there, that one's for tuning the uh, trigger system, that one's for tuning the uh, back EMF. So that's set up, you've got cap bank there, uh, that's a high voltage one, but I'm also using these uh, crook clips, added another cap bank there as well. Um, just so I've got uh, a bit of voltage to play with. Okay, so as you can see, spinning quite nicely. Right, show the circuit. Second set of crocodile clips that I've got. Go into that multimeter there, which is showing the voltage. Okay, and that's my current amp draw, which is about 32 milliamps. More or less. Okay. So we'll get them both in shot. Oh, I can see both. I don't know about you lot. You'll hear a click when I switch it on. If well, uh, there the amp draw comes back up again. Switch off voltage climb again a little bit of speed lost because I've uh, tuned it right down at the moment we're pretty much back to speed now voltage climbing oh I've just killed it oh we clipped shorted that's why oops Oh well. Watch it climb back up again. I'll just give it a helping hand with me tuning. There we go. Right, back down to 32 milliamps. Voltage is at 3, 30 volts, 31 volts, 32. Right, and go. See the voltage drop and then the amps come back up again. Lovely. Absolute perfect test. So, the back EMF quite successfully runs my Bedini for a good five seconds at least. So, let's show you the wires so that no one can complain that there's uh, anything trickery wise going on. This wire comes around here to my crop clips over there. I just go across the cap bank. Uh, power comes from these, which is these 12 volts down here. Only using one at a time at the moment. Also comes to that multimeter, which is currently set up to uh, 20 amps max, just in case they need to uh, bypass me the uh, lameter here. Main cap bank, as you've seen many, many times before. Darlington pair. There's uh, an optocoupler there that isn't being used at the moment. Um, uh, we'll use it later on, though. Main high voltage capacitor. Ignore the uh, voltage bubbling rectifier there, it's not connected at the moment. Okay, 
down there, right in the middle of the shot, is the optocoupler that controls the uh, back EMF discharge. And as you can see, that's connected from the capacitor via the yellow cable and then black cable into the positive supply there. So I don't think anyone can uh, now argue that uh, something strange is going on. So let's take a look at part B, what's actually going on here. Right, this is going to be fun. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Okay. From the trigger coil coming in, you will have that voltage going up the side, right, and time across the bottom. If I can spell, right. So, you first, um, when you trigger it, when you're uh, tuning the trigger, right. You move the pot so it triggers at a certain point. Right, so we're going to say from about halfway, there and there. So that there is your normal triggering for the pulse for the Bedini. Right, now at that point, right, it's not producing. Uh, back EMF. It's only here when it shuts off that it's triggering back EMF. There. So, before that we can drop the back EMF that's accumulated in the cap bank onto the voltage re voltage lines. So, we're going to assume from there to there is where it's triggering. So now what you end up with is that you end up with a double trigger straight on top and because the voltage in the back EMF cap bank is higher than the supply voltage you end up getting a sudden surge so you end up getting a surge through the um, trigger coil I mean it doesn't exactly look square like that um, the tail end of it sort of does that as you've seen from the pre previous video, update 12 I think it was, there's a little lip there. But nevertheless, you end up with a much bigger pulse. Right, so all that area that's now shaded becomes your pulse. Right, so that's putting it in very basic English for everyone to understand a um, couple of slight uh, um, technical uh, discrepancies but uh, those that know what they are will know why I've uh, um, allowed the technical discrepancies to uh, be in place. Okay, so anyone's got any questions feel free to email me. Um, that'll be the last, well this is the last video on the feedback to source. And the next videos will be entitled uh, Com Warriors uh, Quest for the Holy Power Grail. Talk to you later.